to me, that flag represents the 1913 Land Act. It represents the Immorality Act, Job Reservation, the Group Areas Act. It represents natives, natives reserves, the na natives commissioners. It re represents families who were torn apart. It re represents everything that's bad about our country's history. It represents P.W. Boota. It represents the A.W.B. It represents bloodshed. It represents 40 years of apartheid under the National Party government. We should not have to stare at that flag every day. The apartheid flag bears no emotion on me, uh, simply because I'm a born free. However, um, what I've noticed is South Africans as a whole, we haven't really uh, healed from the scars left by apartheid. And once we heal as a nation going forward and learn to love and accept each other, issues like the apartheid flag will always aggravate and anger us. But from a born free point of view, I honestly think this apartheid flag has no emotion on me or does not evoke any anger. The flag represents um, remnants of the colonial history um, that South Africa has. And I think that reconciliation will not be realized until South Africans deal with the legacy that apartheid has dealt on us in today's reality and how it's playing itself out in the public discourse. It's been almost 25 years since the dawn of democracy in South Africa. The old flag is exactly that, old. It belongs in a museum. The old flag to me represents an old South Africa, uh, South Africa of the past, and um, I think because of that, we have to leave it in the past and not take it forward with us because I don't think it's, it's beneficial in the society we're living in today. Um, we constantly see racial incidents and um, it's like kind of South Africa's going through a second kind of revolution in terms of race relations and having the flag visible nowadays is really not a good idea because we it's already a very turbulent environment. Old flag, um, it represents discrimination and unfairness and I think it also brings back, it opens old wounds for people who had experienced apartheid.